What is going on, Minecraft gamers? Welcome to episode... I forgot the number. 30 today in my Minecraft Let's Play series. Let's hop right into this. So, last episode, we finished off the cactus farm. Which means... That's all the farms I had planned. Like I said a couple times, I'm thinking maybe later we'll come in and put a farm here to fill in that side of the mountain. Because it's feeling a little empty. That's that's my problem with it. It's empty. But that's not necessarily bad either. Especially once we get the entrance in here. Now, for one, I'm just going to say this. This this lake here, these floating trees that are kind of cursed, and everything else around here will be subjected. I mean, like, why does that happen? They're most likely going to change. I'm going to do some terraforming. Eventually. But, here's what I have to show. So, I went ahead... I don't have a torch. Eh, whatever. So I went ahead and dug out the dimensions for the room that we're eventually going to dig. That's going to hold all of our materials. It's going to auto sort them. We're going to put an auto smelter in here. All that other stuff. I think it's 17 by 28. 17 this way, 28 going straight across. But we need an entrance to get into there. So, I have a very good idea for the entrance, but there's just like one slight problem. I don't know. So, it doesn't fit nicely in here, so we're going to have to do terraforming. But I don't know how. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the best at terraforming. I'm thinking for just like the first step here, we just need to take out the dirt. So, we can just work with stone for the time being. I don't want to do this, but it's very necessary. So I know the build's going to be nine across. All right, so let's pick all this up. And we can get rid of the flowers. Um, I need that scaffolding, actually. We can just get rid of the flowers for the time being. And I don't know why I have bone meal in my inventory. So this is what we're left with for space. Let's bring out the ground here a little more. It's going to look a little flat, kind of generic, but that's fine. Okay, what, what do you got? Thank you. Okay, so if we were to... Eh, da, 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 da. I'm so bad at this terraforming stuff. Okay, let's build up here and look what it looks like from up here. Is there really another zombie in there? Are they Can they just pathfind their way to you? I'm guessing that's what's going on. Alright, so if we build out here, this is where it's going to build. Meat. But we're also going to want some... Are you not dead yet? Die. We're going to want some extra space on the sides. So I'm thinking... We dig up like that there. And then... Same thing here. Maybe one more there. Okay. Hmm. Confliction. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, darn it. Why can't these builds just be as I envision them in my head? Wait, is that... What part of the build is that, anyway? Ah, eh, we'll come look at that later. Okay. But, that aside, let's hop down here maybe break off how did i lose my shovel how do i do this every time i put away stuff i'm still using okay we don't need that don't need that don't need that yeah but i probably just put something away i was still using anyway let's break the dirt here we know the dimensions we want so we don't need that there anymore and then let's try to put it in and see how it looks just here I feel like it would be easier if we get the build in, and then we try to move it around. So, this is this is the ninth here. Let's assume we put it in here. We're... Oh, nope. Nope. There we go. So, we're going to need stairs, slabs, normal blocks. Honestly, let's get rid of the sword. The bow's more useful. And... Yeah, let's just go with that. The basics right now. So this is the end here. This is where it start. We do that block there. Solid block here. There'd be a stair on the front. Th 
three there. And same thing is on that side here to finish it off. Back. Oh, that's a shovel. All right, let's see how that looks. It is somewhat centered. I think this. I think this will actually work here. I'm probably getting too optimistic, but fingers crossed, this will work. I want to expand that out one. Then I'm realizing now this is gonna have to go. Let's see. Does that does that look natural? Eh, it doesn't look unnatural. We're keeping it that way. Okay, so here we're gonna want solid blocks in here. We'll we'll come onto this build and do detailing a teeny bit once we get this whole thing planned out. And stairs like that. So we're kind of making a big archway that'll lead into the build. It's actually gonna be quite a small archway, but now I think about it. It'll serve its purpose well. That is that all the stone gates I have? Okay, we'll just make a ton. All right, on top of here, there'll be stone, stone, my keyboard fell down for a second. Then we'll put slab on top of there, slab. And then behind this, I think we're just gonna build up with stone to that height. We're gonna try and build up to that height with stone. Oh, we can get it here. So that's that height there. Let's go over to the end here. Place that there. Uh, so I think, yeah, yeah. I, I think putting this build in first was the play. Because we can come in here, terraform on the side, make it look nice. So then we'll do probably stone, chiseled stone brick there and there. Go up. One, two, three. Upside down stair. Two, three. Three. No, that is three. That's right. Yep, that looks good. And then, of course, we can just fill in the top there. The roof is going to be the hard part. That's what I'm. That's what I'm foreseeing here. Yep. If it's going to be that hard, let's honestly just do it right now. First, more stone. Okay. So, let's see. This is where I want to put an emerald block. Then we'll do one up from there. Then here we'll have one. Nope. Other way. Upside down stair. <laughs> Why can't you work blocks the way I want you to in my head? There we go. So we're going to have three like that where the pathway is. Then solid block. Chiseled stone. Like this. Then solid block. So yeah, that works. Then on the sides of the solid block, we'll put. Oh, my brain froze. S solid. Yeah, we'll put a stair and then a slab underneath it to add a little more depth and kind of. I want this to be like a thick, sturdy-looking build, like an and. An entrance to a mountain base type of thing. Because that's what it is. So we'll do that. And then on top of there. We're going to do slab on top of that. Slab on top of that. And then just salt block. I think that actually worked out. And it fit in pretty nicely. I honestly was expecting it to be a lot harder than that. So we can destroy this. And find our way into our bed. Hmm. We'll sleep above the ground today. Okay. So, I think, all things considered, this build is actually almost done. Kind of a quick recording today. But we'll, we'll still have time to do details and stuff too. Extra detailing. Let's destroy this here. And there. Now, I actually had... A super fun idea. I was inspired by this other build I saw where they put armor stands with gold armor on them onto like the or just kind of like in these little divots in the side. But I I thought I could make it even cooler and put it here. So 
if you if you notice, we actually can't put the armor stand here. But the nice thing about armor stands is, unlike most blocks in Minecraft, they deny they deny gravity. So we can put armor stand there. Hmm. I'm gonna want it facing forwards actually. Let's see, we're gonna have to take this at an angle. Oop. Armor stand facing towards us. And uh, actually, I take that back. We're gonna have to do that one higher, aren't we? So this is where gate and then solid block, solid block. And then we'll put the armor stand down. It's a little bit of a process, but the end product's worth it. So we'll put armor stand there. Then we'll break this here, put the slab back and break that. Then we can just simply put in the thing back up there. Slab. There we go. Rinse and repeat. Do the same thing on the other side. There we go. We got both armor stands in now, which means we just got to put on the armor. Now, I went ahead and like sat and waited very long usually. So, when I'm when I'm getting my XP, my zombie grinder, kind of rambling here. Anyway, when I'm getting the XP, I usually get the gold armor and then I'll instantly disenchant it and then smelt it into nuggets. But I made sure to save a set so we, that we could put on there. Now the finishing touch. I honestly don't know how I feel about this, but I kind of like it if we just put an emerald block in the middle there. Now I did miss something. I missed lanterns that we're going to put there. But we can do that a little bit later. So terraforming. I'm thinking we just fill this in solid. Think that'll look nice? Mm. Do I have diorite? Do I have diorite? I never would have saved diorite. Alright, we're going to cheat here. We're going to move the diorite from back here. Here, put diorite in there, follow the pattern. And then, one of my favorite blocks, personally, grab some andesite and put the andesite in there. That looks okay. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that, looking at that now. Hmm. Maybe we put one more piece of andesite there. And maybe two die right there. All right, let's back up and take a look at that from afar. Okay, that it looks good enough for me. I'm satisfied. And then this will just be easy. We just fill this in with stone. There is some more andesite by there, but man, this tree has got to go. It's got to go. I'm just like constantly working around that tree. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll... Oh. Hmm. We'll fill this in for now. And then the top... Let's see what we can do up here. Huh. Guessing we just fill this in with stone all the way up. Nope, that would not work at all. Then just across. As you can tell, I'm a professional at terraforming. Graduated Harvard with like a perfect degree. And no one will be able to see that. You know what? No one will see it anyway. It, oh, well, now they're going to see it. And that's pretty much it for this build. The last thing we need is lanterns and then a little more detailing. So I'm going to go grab the lanterns and then we'll do the rest of the detailing on this build. And we're back. I have nine lanterns, a little much, but we'll use it on some other places anyway. So it'll, it'll be fine. So I'm thinking we just put the lanterns in the corners here. And then we move on to the detailing stage here. Clear my inventory of everything I'm not using. We'll take the cobblestone though. So we need to make this pop or just look nice. So I'm thinking we come in with maybe slabs and solid blocks and stairs of mossy cobblestone. So we could put one there, one there, maybe behind the build here we put two 
Then up here, we can put like vein of three. And just keep going like that to randomize it. All right, so we're done with the detailing. Put in mossy cobstone everywhere. I thought it would make it look nice. And uh, let's think. Actually, I want one more there. I feel like that would make it look nice. And maybe one here. But now, that is perfect. Next part is, where did all my blocks go? There they are. Mm, the hallway. I'm thinking, come in here, make solid blocks going this way. And like this. And this will eventually lead to the next build we're going to make. But that is pretty much it for this episode. See the next part, if you didn't see, so just to like give you guys a little context. So this is 17 by 28. And then we're going to dig this 14 high everywhere. So I'm a little conflicted if I want to do this in between this episode and next or if I just want to do it in the episode next. Probably going to do the first thing. Because that entire mining thing is going to take forever. So don't be surprised if you come back or you watch the next episode and I have mined out a huge chunk of this mountain. But that being said, that is pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, maybe consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And... As always, have a wonderful day, and yeah, that's it. Talk see you guys in the next video.